Hey there, is that you in the sexy blue boat up up there? Oh, Lance! Oh. I just got thumped right at the boat, buddy. You're a good luck call. Well guys, we got a winter storm advisory coming in later tonight. It's suddenly March 21st and we're expected like four inches of snow overnight. So I'm gonna bundle up and hope that means the walleyes are gonna chew post storm here. It's only like 35 degrees, but it's not windy. So I'm, uh, I'm going for it. Should be, should be a fun time. We'll see what happens. Got the net. I forgot the net. Jackson had one in his truck, so figured we better grab it. If we wouldn't have grabbed it, though, it means we would have hooked a 30 incher. Now that we grabbed it, we'll catch nothing but Thank you, you too. I was thinking of like, kind of like putzing our way up towards the dam, pulling Dubuque rigs or something on three ways, you know? You gotta plug it in on the... <laughs> it's like, man, that's taking a minute. <laughs> All right, here's what we're starting out with. I'm gonna just putz up, kind of a three-way rig with liquid willow cats saucy swimmer or sassy swimmer i can't even remember right now far from organized right now it was kind of a spontaneous deal i texted jackson like what 45 minutes ago i was like ah the temptation to lay on the couch and watch college basketball is pretty strong but we're Man, getting I made a valid point. you did make a valid point can't catch him sitting on the couch and it's gonna be better to sit on the couch in uh, two days when it's like raining and 40 degrees and or 20 degrees it's crazy this winter we're having first day of spring finally brings winter back winter's no fun if you take away ice fishing so winter weather with no safe ice is just stupid all right, so I didn't like that back hook. I put these flip, these little flickers on, um, and this is gonna drag that plastic. And that's the liquid willow cat plastic, and I actually make these uh, little flipper things for Eric at Liquid Willow Cat. You can buy those on his website. So in the water, then that's just bouncing around there. So I'm just gonna kind of work us up towards the dam with this, kind of slow trolling upstream, and then uh, Jackson, if I mark anything good on side imaging, I'll make sure that we stop and cast at it. All right. While we're kind of pulling that up, I'm just gonna cast with the blade bait onto this flat. We're like barely moving. <laughs> yeah, it'll tell you the speed on the top right. How many miles per hour? Oh no, yeah, point, right point two. That's nice. Definitely no expert, but I know a couple things. <laughs> it's actually not that bad out here. No, it's really nice. I don't know if I quite need the dice. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you won't regret it. Right. I haven't unhooked a fish yet either. Then the hands get cold. But we got eagles flying around. No wind. Can't complain at all. Water temps 39.8. What looked like was going to be one of the quickest spawns ever. Back in February, it's kind of cooled back down a bit. <laughs> Dude, there are a bunch of fish. I was just going to say there are a bunch of fish marking, dude. 
Holy smokes. Way big, a charm. We'll see if it's a walleye. Oh my god, it's a big walleye. I already got it. I need a spot lock on this right here. So if I just hit spot like that'll stop that, right? Yeah. yeah. Dude. The, wall, the Walmart net has been broken in. Let's go. Nice. See the good thing we went back and got the net. The walleye wagon, dude. This is my first walleye. On the it is a wagon. wagon. <laughs> first walleye. On the walleye wagon. I take that back. I caught one with Jamie. Oh yeah. When we went out. But yes, that is just a gorgeous walleye. Thumped the blade bit. Now we are spot lock, right? Should be, let me see. Yeah, oh, yeah you're good. We're good spot lock because I was marking a bunch of fish. And sure enough, hammered the blade. I'm gonna get this unhooked and get her back in the water. Dude, that was right as you said that too. Oh. You just get hit? Yeah, I got crushed. I bet you took my tail off that jig. Gorgeous walleye. She's probably maybe 20. That was sweet though. Let's keep that up. Hopefully the first bite like that isn't the fluke, but based on my side imaging, like I said, off to the right, I was just seeing them there. Heck yeah. All right. See if it's the blade bait. <clears throat> Love fishing the blade bait. Whew. Just those short little hops with the blade bait, letting it flutter back down, making it look like a injured bait fish. I'll tell you what though, that side imaging with that jack plate that I have extending the motor back, it makes a huge difference in reading that. Like I did not feel like I could read it that well with the SS. Yeah. You know what I want to do? Catch more well that also, <laughs> but I think I'm going to actually drop the underwater camera down and just record it. Did you see that my last video where I At was recording below yeah. the dam? Hey, caught a zebra mussel. Nice cast, bro. Oh, no. Man. What a mess. Slip right on my finger. <laughs> it should come off pretty easy, I bet. It, it looked like a knot in solids. Like, now I'm in trouble. Dang, there are. There's definitely fish out there, no doubt. Every time I say that, something good happens. I'm dropping that camera down. I'm just curious. Because it. The nice thing about the underwater camera is you get that down there and you get an idea. Am I marking a bunch of red horse suckers? You know, what's going on here? Are there actually walleyes? We're about to find out. What the heck, Markham? I sent this camera back to Markham because they fixed the foggy lens and it's still foggy. They sent a replacement and the same thing happens. That lens fogs up. And it is not clear at all. I can still see a little bit, but geez. Not jacked about that. Oh my, Jackson, there's perch everywhere. Is it really? There's perch everywhere. I drop it down and there's instantly perch. Should I pick up my perch rod? I mean, if you have, I didn't bring, I didn't bring any live bait, but. I also only saw two perch, like let's maybe pump the brakes a bit. But like right when I dropped down, it was perch, perch. But you know what, dude? 
I could care less about perch now that I think about it. I just caught a 20 inch walleye in the walleye wagon boat. Let's get our priorities right here. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Right. There's pre-spawn walleyes. I had my fun with perch already. Yeah, no kidding. Well, I'm gonna just keep an eye on that and see if a walleye is coming by or something. There is some like vegetation and stuff down there too. So maybe I'm, although I don't know, look at that side image, you know, that's gotta be fish. Just because you said something, just, just quick, I got it. You got it? I I got to drop the I mean, you guys tell me, is that, are these fish off to the right? We're spot locked, so we shouldn't be moving, and I just keep seeing a lot. I'm not good at reading side imaging yet, to be honest. All right, come on, blade bait. Get chomped. Again. Yeah, I don't think there's, I take back the perch everywhere statement. I mean, right when I <laughs> dropped it, right when I dropped down, there was two jumbo perch staring at the thing, but. If you, um, well, blade bait. Oh, fish, you think? Snakes. Oh. Didn't feel right. Well, yeah, I mean, there could be some carp swimming around down there, too. <laughs> there he is. Yep. I was going to say, there's definitely perch around. Put the, uh, Really light, lightweight jig on. Dude, that's a nice little male. Rachel and I are gonna eat fish tomorrow. I'm gonna test the live well out. Might as well. Yeah, get him way in shallow there. There you go, dude. In shallow. Heck yeah. Who is that thing up there? They know that front is coming, dude, and they're looking to put the feed bag on. That's, that's what I think. Yeah, that's a good fish. I don't think you catch little things up shallow, in my opinion. Nice. Oh, nice net job. Barely hooked in his right. <laughs> hey, that's a good male too if you wanted an eater. No doubt. Dude, barely hooked. Heck yeah. He smoked it though, did you see that? <laughs> oh yeah, hammered it. I was I was kind of judging you for how sh <laughs> I mean you cast it up real shallow. But it's good it, I think I think you're on to something. Dude, look at this, he's got meat in Oh wow. Oh look at them all. Here I gotta show that to the GoPro. Look at that. He's got leeches in his gills. Unreal. There's your perch bait. <laughs> That's yeah, crazy. That, I've I never know, seen I, that. I've rarely seen him on there that much. Hopefully it, he would have been fine, but well, hey, we'll put him out of his misery. There's more on that side. That What's nuts. That's weird. Oh, now I got one in my hand. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Try to pinch as many off before you throw them in my live well. After watching that, dude, I gotta go back to the blade bait. Where I, I just gave you them pliers. The ones on my seat, yeah. <laughs> it's overcast. Those fish know that a storm's coming. And when they want to put the feed bag on, food's up shallow. That's where the water's warmer. Orangey better. Yep. Orange blade bait. It ain't that shallow up there, actually, either. That cast Dude, this is further than that, though. This is going to be a fun evening. I don't even care how my bracket's doing right now. Why would I want to watch basketball from a... Dude, they're up in there. As my old man would say, if you're not catching snags, you're not fishing the walleyes right. <laughs> I like that. You 
could actually throw the rip and wrap up there and stuff. I was thinking. Dude! Just thinking that, but you Sometimes know. that rip and wrap just gets a little more flutter coming down. There's not strong current where you need the right bait. We'll see though, it didn't produce already. Yeah, that's, I mean, we hammered two nice, nice walleye. <laughs> oh, we should change baits. <laughs> no, let's go catch some perch. <laughs> yeah, sorry, Over perch. It. I'm gonna turn that camera off and just, with my luck, I'll just forget that I have that mark up there and then we'll fire up the old boat and drive away and realize that. And you won't be able to send it back. Yeah. <laughs> hey, uh, customer service. Yeah, there's something wrong with my Markham. Yeah, what's that, sir? We'll help you out. <laughs> it's at the bottom of the Mississippi River. <laughs> I don't think they could help me with that. Yeah, we're going to go get that one. Might as well when you got the old trolling motor. It's so different. Uh, not having us not having to pull anchor every time it's so nice in the ss minnow i would have oh i should clip this back on before this goes oh dude see the underwater camera <laughs> i told you, you i mean no but it's dangling over the side of the river you have to drive. Yeah. <laughs> i knew it was gonna happen <laughs> Oh boy, this thing needs to get put away. Dude, what kind of rod is this? Like this? My dad made me that rod, dude. No yeah, custom made it for my birthday. Jackson's fishing mission. That's cool. It says Jackson's fishing mission. Yeah, which means it could technically be yours if you stole it. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh boy. Coming to get you, Snag. Wow, what kind of? There must be a tree down there. Got it. It's coming Catfish. up. Giant flathead. Oh, there we go. Ooh, fishing line. Ah. The old fishing line on the tree. Clean up the river a bit. See, as we're drifting, I think I'm gonna go vertical right over the boat. Do the jig and wrap and plastic combo. See how much I can get tangled. Heck yeah. Do it. That's when they hit the blade, dude, when it's fluttering down. That's another netter, eh? Yep. That's a big fish. If that's oh my gosh, give me that. Holy smokes, dude. <laughs> you beast. Oh, oh orangey, baby. Orange blade bait. What I'm talking about, hey, Jackson. Right in the chin. Yeah. Both of yours were just hooked by that back hook. Heck yeah. Look at that. Beautiful Ooh. fish, man. <laughs> She's ready to go back. Yep. Heck yeah. Right here. Very nice, buddy. <laughs> No, that one was barely hooked. You had to get the net on that one because she wasn't going to stay on too much longer, I don't think. Same with the first one. I almost botched the net job right away on your first fish. I was like, oh, just trying to avoid your rod. That is true. <laughs> and then I totally bumped the fish. I never do that. I'm like, oh no. It's gorgeous, man. Usually always windy down here. 
Yeah, that's why it, the temperature being in the 30s wasn't that intimidating given how the, the wind is right now. It was fighting way harder. I need a, I don't have a tape in here. I don't know why that is. Actually, I do have one. It's a, connected to my scale, so. Yeah, there you go. Gonna have to get you a home for it, though. When we get that 30 inch, or we'll have a way to tell. Yeah, this double one two whammy isn't working too well. I did bring my speaker in case you wanted any. I think maybe, maybe we need some tunes. Some tunages. What's the walleye wagon hammer town playlist? We just gotta find out. <laughs> Excuse me, sir, what type of music do you like to listen to? Rock and roll. Oh, I think Classic. he said rock and roll. Right. Wing damn rock and roll, he said. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Bow, bow, bow. <laughs> Welcome to the wing dam. <laughs> You're gonna die. <laughs> welcome to the welcome to the blade bait, walleye. Watch my rod fly. <laughs> welcome to the blade bait. It's so fun to eat. <laughs> Actually trying the plastic right now. <laughs> Forgot. I'm gonna edit this footage and be embarrassed all by myself. <laughs> Welcome to the jungle. GoPro, stop recording. Can you still feel bottom, okay? Is that I think so. Should Jack have this on my... to a uh, rip and wrap just to do a little lighter. This, re this rod and reel setup actually I got from uh, he probably would want me to put it in the ch ooh, channel this guy reached out to me real Ray fishing he's a 15 year old kid who lives in Wisconsin and he started his own little fishing company so I'll put it in the description realray.com or something like that um, kind of cool to see a young kid doing something different trying to make a little extra money so um, shift this shipped this to me and ordered it on his little website there so that's pretty cool he had line lures reels combos so if you're looking to get a new rod set up support a 15 year old kid who lives in wisconsin and go check out that website his name is carson ray I was say, I would hope Ray's his last name. If a kid was named Ray, I mean, I just think of like grumpy old men with someone named Ray. Like if your name's Ray, you like have a beard, you uh, might smoke cigarettes and be 70 years old. <laughs> That's a Leroy. Yeah. <laughs> That's a Leroy if I've ever heard. <laughs> that is a Leroy. <laughs> oh. Tell ya. Alright, we might have to make us some, some movage. It's tough because we just kind of started putzing up and got on some fish, but there's a lot of river out here and not a lot of people wanting to uh, brave the cold temps, so it's gorgeous, I know. So we might as well keep moving around and find something even better. Dude, 
Oh, you went to the rip and ramp. Yeah, dude, this thing's big. Spot locked us. That's if the walleye goes if the walleye goes dead weight, big head shakes. You know that's a good thing. Got some size to it. It's gonna be a big female walleye up there in the shallow. Are you giddy right now? Yes, we crush that. I do love a good ripping. Oh, oh, it's, it's a, a pike. pike. Oh, okay. Catch Get a off. Pike. Get off. I was going to say, you're up in the oh. shallow. It didn't fight like a no. pike, though. Like, it was no. dead weight. I had weight. head shakes, right? To the I thought, you, do you want to tarnish your net with a slimy pike or no? You might have. You, you might, might have, have to. to. Otherwise, you're going to lose a ripping rat. Oh. <laughs> hey, pike will eat, though. Oh, it unhooked itself. I was going to say, Pike will eat. Oh. oh, yeah, my grandpa did want one. Yes. That was sick. I thought you were... I thought that was a stud walleye. So were I. Wouldn't have made you get the net if I thought it was a little Pike. <laughs> and where's this? Tug is a drug, they say. Exactly. <laughs> the worst thing. It's a snack. Yeah. <laughs> we caught a fish. We can't ever complain about catching fish. It's the wrong kind of fish. I had a good time hammering sheep head below this dam last spring. With worms? No, not a, but on ripping wraps. Huge really? sheep head were hammering ripping wraps and that was fun. Sweet. No way, huh? Pike again? What do you think? Please, no pike. <sighs> I don't it's know. Not, it's not a decent fish. I don't know. Oh, another pike! <laughs> Get off! They love here. Wait, I can, I can try try, try to pop that one off. They love the old rip and wrap, dude. That rip and wrap's gonna get in my knuckle if I'm not uh, careful. Oh. Hold on. If I can just, if you get that close enough that I can grab it. Nice. nice. Thanks. He doesn't even know. There you go. <laughs> Dang it, dude. <laughs> Maybe it is the black and purple. <laughs> well, you're also casting up shallow. There's naturally gonna just be pike up there. Honestly, though, fun to catch. What? Is that your buddy Angler X up there? Yeah, it probably is. Dude. This is on the plastic, that three-way plastic rig with the saucy swimmers. That was sweet. I probably gonna be a pike. No, first fish that I'm catching on this rod. So it's what is that trolling motor doing? Yeah, he just got a little bigger. Probably gonna be a pike, dude. It just looks like a snake boy. Sure is. Well, it's got it's that double rig, so it like might got him in the belly. It is kind of a foul hooked eye. Interesting. <laughs> Bumped into him. That's well, weird. At it. <laughs> I mean, I'm sure he was going for it, but right. Huh. It's not big, you're good. You're good. But there's definitely a pot of fish up there. In the mouth this time. Yeah, that one hit the bottom dropper. That's probably a order liner there. It probably is. I think he's a little too small though. See, I just cast in that three way with the liquid willow cat plastics. That one hit the bottom. The last one was snagged on the uh, back one, that little trailer. Hey there, is that you in the sexy blue boat up, up there? Oh, Lance! Oh. 
I just got thumped right at the boat, buddy. You're a good luck call. Hold up. I, I was, uh, I was giving you a call. Oh yeah. And I just got hammered right at the boat here. Sorry, I'm, I'm, uh, I'm downstream from you, buddy. If you look, uh, big walleye, <laughs> big walleye, Lance. It was a good luck call for you. <laughs> Lance, can you hear me? Sorry, I'm a, I must not, must not have good. I'm in the the lawn. Yep, the new boat. You're not looking for the SS Minnow anymore. Take a look at though, right there. Yeah, I'm I'm literally two boats down from you, holding up the walleye right now. Okay, I just caught one too. Really. Yep, there. <laughs> that is too funny. That is awesome, man. Well, <laughs> it was. That'll be a fun, uh, fun GoPro video for you to watch. Cause I was talking to you, and all of a sudden it, it hammered it. Here, look. Look up by me. <laughs> Are we both holding up fish right now? Yeah. Dude, that is awesome. Well, hey, keep it up. It. Heck yeah, you too, Lance. See ya. The walleye wagon, holding true to its name. Gosh, that is fun. Yeah, that was a blast. On the phone with, with Lance and just thump. So those two both hit the, the jig with the purple chartreuse. Like this? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's a little one. Yes. Oh boy. Perchy Dumbasaurus perch. So there's the bonus, I guess, of fishing the uh, the back hook. Like I said, this is kind of a nice little two punch I guess with the jig but then this back one it's more weightless it has that little flipper on it like I say I actually make these um, Rachel helped a lot with these too uh, but make these for liquid willow cat has them on his website if you want to buy some and you just saw back to back uh, trout or walleye hit the jig perch hit the the minute or the back one I was texting a picture to Lance though. Actually, that's a good eater grabbing that. Good mail. I was texting a picture to Lance and all of a sudden I picked it up and it was just sucking on it. Which is, which is pretty nice. It's that back one this time with the, fl with the flicker. It's just weightless. So even if I'm not, even though I wasn't actively on the rod, it hit it and it held on to it for a longer time. I better measure him, but I think he's good. 15 and a half, perfect for dinner. This is the first time I've actually used those, <laughs> those certain types of little flippers, which is kind of surprising considering Eric asked me if I could build them for a reason, just because he knew about my spinner making, and he said, hey, can you make these? They're killer, he said, on, with for plastics. I was like, eh, sure. I haven't really used them much myself, which is kind of silly. Uh-oh, dude, the eyelets are starting to ice up.
<laughs> yeah, they are. Uh, that barge propeller has messed up their day. Oh! Dang it. I almost messed up that walleye's day. Here's the uh, propeller we're talking about. The old Mississippi River. Pretty cool scenery. That'll get the bait fish going though. Oh god, let's get the whopper poppers going. You're gonna be busted. Oh, I see that mallard you were talking about. Yeah, Big old Drake in there with his, hand, yeah. with his Susie just hanging out. I don't know if that's a different version of... I think so. If any of you major boat people know if I can connect my Helix to the Minn Kota to, say, to like mark fish and say, take me here. Because you know what I mean? With the GPS, you could see something like 30 feet away on side imaging and say, like, bring me here. I don't know how that works. We're going to catch some fish right here is what I'm thinking. Nice walleye. I told you, I marked them in here on side imaging. It is just incredible. It's a nice fish, dude. It is impressive how much oh, on the back one too that's oh. so that's so cool that's a nice walleye Tell you what, I might be on to something here. This rig is doing me well. Just pop right off. Just popped out. Awesome, baby. Awesome female walleye. Um, obviously, I want to promote getting the females back in the water as much as possible. Probably a what? 20s? 20 inch or something like that. Again though, on the back uh, back trailer plastic, love that. Two times now where it was like vertical practically. Just slowly creeping upstream. Holy jumbo, dude. What in the world? And trying to get you the net. Holy cow, big old jumbo perch. That's pretty neat. It's past your bedtime, perch. What are you doing? Not too big to, to keep. Eh, he's only like 11, actually. Oh, dude, there's one of them leeches on its fin again. What's with all the leeches? Dude, I have a fire emoji next to my bracket right now. Baumgart's bracket. In the 83rd percentile, heck yeah. I don't know what that means. <laughs> Called a couple upsets already though, so that's sweet. Let's go. It's a double good day. Bottom one for that guy. Love it, buddy! Have a good night! <laughs> That's awesome. Lance says, Walleye Wagon! Alright, well, that's gonna do it for the video. It's dark, so if we catch anything after dark, take a video or something, but we're gonna wrap this up. Uh, fun outing. Hope you enjoyed it. Good to see Lance out here too, that was funny. Cruises past his walleye wagon. Shout out to Angler X, I'm sure he'll have a video out here. We'll see.